Welcome back to Dia's Ire. Last time we um, figured out that the priest we met um, in the city is a complete pervert. Let's just continue from there. And so, after we took them up on the offer for dinner and stayed around to chat, and once we'd finished eating, Wow, I didn't realize it gotten this late. I suddenly realized that it was just before nine. It wasn't particularly particularly late for me, but it probably was for the church. Should we get going then? Leaving already? You're welcome to stay longer. It would be presumptuous of us to overstay our welcome and with Father Trifa like this. Likely due to some prior misfortune or other, Father Trifa gulped down his wine and was now passed out in a heap. Such a pathetic man. <laughs> He's crying in his sleep, isn't he? He really never grows up, no matter how much time passes. The female brigade showed no mercy. Fuji, I so apologize for everything that happened today, as he will be living here starting today. He might very well end up inconveniencing you. Inconveniencing you again in the future. Ah, no, he wasn't any trouble at all. I like him. He's an interesting guy. If you're too soft on him, he'll eventually ask you to take a bath together. Um, yeah, I'd prefer to avoid that. I thought so. Aren't you glad, Fuji? I wasn't really sure what she meant by glad, but I decided to nonchalantly change the topic. But why did the priest go back to the church? I think he was sent to Mexico to But why did Father Trifa come back here? I'm pretty sure he mentioned being transferred to the frontier of Mexico. For several reasons, really. It's been dangerous around these parts recently, honestly. I felt scared with just the two of us living together, so... I see. Himuro and Sister Lisa both witnessed the body of the first victim directly. No matter how stout had it, stout had it? Hearted, or rather disconnected they may have been, it was only natural to be scared by something like that. This might sound sacrilegious, sac sacrilegious, but just because they lived in a church didn't mean that God would protect them. <sighs> Ooh, that's harsh. I figured even a man like him might prove useful if he was here. But he doesn't seem very reliable as a bodyguard, does he? Then will you stay here and protect us? <laughs> oh, there's an idea. I would welcome you with open arms, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Way to put me on the spot. What's with that look? I could ask you the same thing. Seriously, what was up with that really dirty look? Sister Lisa chuckled to herself as she was watched Kazumi and I exchange a silent glare. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just a joke. Don't take it seriously. Besides, aren't you already Ayase's personal guard, Fuji? 
What? No, not really. If it goes <laughs> from Ren's point of view, it's the other way around. My, my, you don't have to get all embarrassed about it. Uh, I wasn't embarrassed though. <laughs> Interesting translation. Come on, say something. It looks suspicious. It's suspicious. Yes, yes. I'm Okay. Oh. Huh. I'm already tired of watching this, so take it somewhere else. Fuji, she's a simple one, so don't tease her. Yes. Simple. Uh, do you think I'm an idiot or something? I'm sure it's just your imagination. <laughs> I love you, Rhea. You're just short-tempered, that's all. Having a sigh, I looked... Heaving a sigh, I looked to Father Trefer. Only every, unlike everyone else, he was flat out on the floor. この座間じゃ、寝室まで運ぶの大変でしょう。俺がやるんで、部屋を教えてください。It'll be real hard for you to carry this guy to his room in this state, won't it? I'll take care of it, so please tell me where his room is. Oh, you do that? Thank you, that'd be a big help. Don't, I don't mind, sorry, Kazumi. But could you go on ahead? Yeah, short thing. Then we'll be waiting at the chapel. The girls then left the room. After seeing them off, I proceeded to carry the trunk for the tree fire to on my back. Yeah. Up we go! Wow, he was a lot heavier than I thought. He may have been thin, but it seemed like his height corresponded to his weight. This would have really been hard on him and Sister Lisa. It's very true, some people are very heavy, although they look so thin. <laughs> Working part-time in a nursery home. Not nursery home, what's it? Uh, home for elderly, whatever. Something like that. Uh, and having to weigh them at least once a month you get very interesting numbers <laughs> some really are well well built well fed and aren't that heavy at all and others are so thin and <laughs> you can't believe they're so heavy but no well doesn't matter Uh, yeah. Jeez, the hell is a holy man doing getting this strong? I decided not to think about what would happen if he threw up on me or something. As I voiced a few crumbles with him on my back, Sister Lisa opened the door for me. His room is this way, follow me. But man, no matter how many times I was it is visited this place I never ceased to be amazed by just how huge of a church it was thank you so much you're a lifesaver I took a breather after climbing a staircase at the end of a long hall to the third floor then tossed father <laughs> into his room talk about hard labor they'd probably change him out of his clothes but I was in no mood to stay and watch that, instead deciding to make a hasty exit. Besides, Kazumi Nimuro must have grown tired of waiting for me by now. Fujisa! Fujisa! I'm 
またぜひぜひ遊びに来てくださいね I have a feeling I can get along with you just fine I'm blow you please come and visit again will you What? もう目が覚めたんですか神父バレリアン What was that? Ha! What was that expression? Father Valeria, you already away? 当然ですよ私、酔うのも覚めるのも早いってあなたも知ってるじゃないですか You totally sound sober Yep, yep Never heard someone more sober than you are. But of course, you know I sober up quickly, do you not? Are you still not convincing me? I'd say you need some more rest. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a little bit of If it ever looks like you're not in an. Obedient mood, I'll tell you to the bad I w e l clear. Father Dreyfus' alcohol flushed face went white as a wax model in the blink of an eye. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a little bit of a little bit of a l i t e b i a g o o d b o y a n d g o t o s l e e p s h a l l i s i n g you a l u l l a b y I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a little bit of a little bit of a えって藤井さん、見てないで助けてくださいよ。No, please, anything for that. Wait, Mr. Fuji, do not stand there. And not just stand there, please help me. ごめんなさいね、藤井君。もうちょっとだけ待っててちょうだい。I'm so sorry, Fuji. Could you please wait just a little while longer? ああ、神よ。なぜ我を見捨てたもう。あ。Merciful God, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> Sister Lisa took Father Trifa back to his room on the letter le as the letter let out a scream like it was being dragged to the depths of hell. I found it hard to keep up with them, so I just stood there slack jawed for a while. Eventually, Father Sister Lisa came back out. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Fuji. I swear that man simply hasn't changed at all. Ever the troublemaker. Right. Despite what she had just said, Sister Lisa didn't look bothered at all. Rather, she felt like a mother dealing with a problem child. Have you known Father Trifa for long? Eh? 私の一番古い友人の一人なのあんな感じでちょっと困った人だけどいいところもちゃんとあるのよ Why yes he's one of my oldest friends he may be a bit of a handful but he has his good qualities Sister Lisa Lisa Brenner pronounced produced a warm smile to him or she was like a friend a sister and a mother all in one I was apparently not what you'd call a sociable guy, but this woman was an exception. Seeing her smile alone, resembling that of the Virgin Mary, helped me cheer up. Thinking about how Father t r i f e r was paralyzed by that exact same smile, I couldn't help but feel pity for him. Well, I guess he doesn't look like a bad guy from any angle. I know Himuru said all those things about him, but deep down she likes him too, doesn't she? So, ね、True, she's a very shy person, so I'm sure she's just embarrassed.、ね、oh, speaking of which, Sister Lisa beckoned me with a smile. She, what was she up to? Valeria, Simp Samo, Yobimodostanoa, so you the u k a r a n a n o It'll be her birthday soon. That's the reason I called Valeria back here. Hey. Oh, really? Her birthday? I didn't know that. Huh? When is it? <laughs> That's the birthday of my mother. December 25th on Christmas. Make sure to keep it in mind, okay? Got it.
But wow, to think she was born on that day, huh? A girl born on Christmas living in a church. God must have been really looking after her. Then again, maybe he retracted that kindness after hearing her say she'd graciously punched Jesus. It'd make me happy if you could all celebrate it together. Sure thing, I'll let Kazumi know too. You will? Thank you, Fuji. She then tucked on my sleeve, making me realize she was almost as tall as me, bringing her face close to mine. She. Wait, wait, hold on, did she just. I was simply expressing my gratitude, don't think too deeply on it. Uh, okay. I scratched my still wet cheek. Well, that did leave a bit of a surprise, but then I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Rea and Ayase have something to worry about now. She might have said that with a wry smile, but I was still quite happy about Sister Lisa's frank expression of things, and I wasn't as blind to what was going on around me as she might have thought. I was just not very expressive with my emotions. Anyway, I'll be going now. Okay, would you like me to escort you downstairs? No, thank you. You put me in a good enough mood already. Ma? Oh my. It was quite an out of character line for me to drop, but I said stupid things because I happened to recall something stupid. Though that said, it doesn't look like Sister Lisa was all that disappointed, judging from her reaction. <laughs> As usual, I can't tell if you're hard headed or flexible. Assuming she meant that as a cute compliment. After parting with Sister Lisa, I started walking down the empty hallway. I had thought that about this earlier, but this church really was huge. It put a school or hotel to, ch to shame. I wasn't sure if the architectural style was gothic or Romanesque, Romanesque or whatever, but from a bird's eye view, the building apparently had the shape of a cross. A rather orthodox structure if I was being frank. It was simply way too much space for three people. It must have been held clean, not to mention lonely with all those empty rooms. I wondered how Sister Lisa and Himuro felt about that. It was better than when it was just the two of them, but I didn't think Father Trefer would be much help. In fact, a place this huge would normally have at least 10 or 20 nuns. Although in that case, they probably wouldn't have allowed a man in. Feeling a bit giddy, I shook my head. Maybe carrying around the completely wasted Father Trefer made me a little drunk as well. Kazumi and Himuro were probably waiting for me at the chapel. I didn't know what they'd say if I kept them waiting for too long, so I decided to get a move on. Oh. I want to explore. Let me save real, real quick. Uh, let me explore. You know what? I actually think I'll end the part here. And I'll explore part 20 in the next part. And if, it, if nothing turns up, we can always go back. But normally, I think it's something should turn up. Uh, and my dog wants to leave my room for one second. Eh. Okay, boys. All right, go out. Bye-bye. Alright. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!